U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg took a quick trip around the Lehigh Valley today. He was talking about the bipartisan infrastructure package. Part of that package aims to help veterans find work and ease the nation's supply chain issues. 69 News business and policy reporter Justin Backover tells us more. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg toured LVIA to highlight a $5 million federal grant for a new terminal connector, part of the bipartisan infrastructure package. It was one of 85 airports across the country we're supporting with this round of funds. He was joined by Congresswoman Susan Wild. What we are seeing is a whole new TSA area that's going to allow the airport to expand traffic. The $1.3 trillion package passed in November. Secretary, obviously you have a lot of money to spend beyond just airports. Can you talk a little bit about what those determinations have been like and how you're determining where to put funding first? Yeah, it really is touching every mode of transportation. Last week we announced the All Stations Accessibility Program. That's transit and rail stations that are not yet ADA compliant, so uh, we can upgrade them, more people can use them. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be announcing uh, more funding for a range of, of efforts from bridges to road improvements to more airports and, and everything in between. One of those announcements was made at Lehigh Carbon Community College a $3 million program that will pay for veterans to train for their commercial driver's license. Veterans like Matthew Marcano. And they gave me the opportunity to provide for my family when uh, my skills and my caliber set was not appropriate or uh, recognized here in the civilian sector. The grant will pay for 30 veterans and five people in underserved communities to attend El Tri-C for free. Transportation workers are the ones who literally keep our country moving. And I can't think of anyone better prepared for that important work than our veterans. Justin Backover, 69 News.